So a few people asked me to do a video on how to approach a DL nigga. So I'm going to let y'all know, but before I start, it's all based off of my perspective, right? So if you if you have more feminine qualities and you can't, people don't necessarily see you as straight right away. Like niggas would just automatically assume that you gay or you, you know, will assume your sexuality is other than hetero. Um, then this won't work for you, right? So basically, what you need to do first is it's about your mentality. You need to be approaching them as a friend, as a homie, not not going in with that. Oh, you know, I'm trying to have this person be my nigga, you know, you finna be booed up, sex, all that other kind of stuff. Nah, that ain't gonna work. Right? So, approach him as a friend, approach him as a homie. Be chill. Don't be overbearing. Don't text twice. I can't think of a too many other examples other than that, but don't do that shit, right? Now, let's say you're approaching as a homie and you get their number or their Instagram or their uh, Twitter or whatever, right? The only, I've only done this twice, right? And... The way that I've, it's been easier for me because I've approached them on a, on a level that we connect on, right? I approach niggas when I go skating sometimes. And it's easy because, you know, it's some shit that I don't know. That if I see a nigga that, you know, know how to do that shit well, I can just be like, hey, bro, like, teach me how to do that type shit. I got a nigga's IG a couple nights ago doing that, right? So let's say, you know, you get the info. Um, and y'all actually, you know, become friends little by little. Y'all get to kick it, right? Still maintain that mentality of being a friend. It's better. It's either way. It's better to be friends first because you know stronger relationships are built on friendships, right? So do your best to keep that friendship mentality in mind. Not that. You know, you, I mean, you obviously want a relationship, so it's always going to be in the back of your head, but do your best to suppress that shit, because that can fuck it up. If a nigga senses weird energy like that, even if, because it's levels to the DL shit, right? It's some niggas who have never considered a relationship with other niggas. They might just be fucking niggas, or they might not even be doing that. They may be so DL that they only fuck females, right? And they could be real unhappy doing that shit. But, um, yeah, let's say y'all get to be friends, y'all cool and all that. I would say the next step would be to subtly, subtly let them know or send them signs that you care about them more than the average nigga would. You feel me? Hold up. So you want to let them know that you care about them more than the average nigga would, right? So... You know, if you sense that they're having problems, ask them what's up. Or, uh, yeah, I don't know. Be, be caring, I guess. Um, yeah, man, if you go in with that, with that lust mentality, niggas can, people, people can sense that shit. People can sense your intentions from the vibes that you give off. Especially if you're not adept at hiding that shit. Because, you know, you can be aware of that and, you know, do your best to suppress it like I'm, I'm telling y'all. But, um, yeah. I think that's the only advice I really got for y'all on that. Um, uh, like I said, I, I've only done this twice. And, actually, let me say that. I'm in the, I'm getting this shit myself too. So I'm just letting, I'm just giving y'all the the tools that I've used or the, the methods that I've used so far, right? 
Cause I had to, I had to kind of backtrack. I've been, I've been got, I've been gotten comfortable with myself, right, for so long that I had to remember, like, I never had a problem making friends with niggas when I was actually just trying to be friends, right. Now it's the same for me. Like I got that relationship mentality in the back of my head, cause I felt what that shit is like, and that's that's what I want, right. Um. So yeah. I'm in the process of using these these same methods now, and shit's promised me. That's all I'm gonna say. But that's all I got for y'all. Something I forgot to say at the end of that video. Keep in mind, or just consider that some of these niggas may have never considered being with the guy that means being in a relationship fucking whatever regardless of what their you know base urges may be like try and remember how it was for you when you first started getting comfortable with actually doing shit with guys that's probably i mean that could be where some of these niggas is at so i mean you're gonna have to be the more assertive one as far as like initiating conversation, that kind of shit. But don't be discouraged when, you know, the result isn't what you wanted it want at first. You feel me? Like, let's give you an example. When I, I was probably, I was 23. I've been getting more and more comfortable as I go, but when I was like 23, that was when I first started actually considering a relationship with guys. Because that was the first time I actually fell in love with a nigga. Around the first time. And before that, I can say that there was a, there was one instance, right? I was skating at World on Wheels. And this, this light-skinned nigga. Real nice. Uh, bro comes up to me and... and you know, when you skate a lot, you recognize faces. You know who be there all the time, that kind of shit. So, bro was a regular. Um, bro comes up to me. He wearing, like, some joggers and a white beater. And I don't remember what the fuck he said, but I could tell that bro was nervous. You feel me? Because I was just... I got off the floor. I wasn't skating. I was just watching people skate. And bro comes up to me, taps me, and says something. But he said it so low, I couldn't even understand him. And I could like I couldn't I couldn't understand him. I didn't know how to fucking respond. So I was just like, yeah. And you know, even then I didn't immediately pick up on it. You feel me? But when I went back to go skate, I looked at him and he looked kind of disappointed. Or um, yeah, disappointed would probably be the best, the best, the best word for it. Right. So I can say with like 90 percent certainty that nigga was trying to get at me, you know, bro. Might have, I mean, this was around the time I, was, I probably had like what, maybe 10, 20,000 followers on Twitter. So bro might have recognized me from there. But. um, Yeah, just just keep that in mind when you getting at these niggas. All right.